Okay, now we're going to start looking at inverted forward flight. Uh, so remember when we were just upright and we were flying forward, we ended up tracking the sticks. Uh, we were going up and to the right and on the left stick and down and up and to the left on the left stick and down and to the right on the right stick. Well now it's going to be the opposite of what it was. These sticks are going to go completely opposite corners. So when we're flying uh, counterclockwise, the left stick is going to go down and to the right and the right stick is going to go up and to the left. So we're going to be doing it that way. And then when you're going clockwise, the left stick is going to go down and to the left and the right stick is going to track up and to the right. So we're basically doing the opposite of what we were doing when we were doing upright flight. And one thing also to be aware of, the sticks, they're either going together, or they're going to be going together or apart. That's something uh, inverted forward is somewhat related to upright reverse because the sticks are going to be going either together or apart. So I'll do a little demonstration but look how the sticks are tracking either this way or this way depending on which direction I'm, I'm going. So again try to learn to fly in, in a couple circles and then after you can fly in circles try to get to where you can transition and go into figure eights. So first thing we know that we're comfortable in all orientations inverted, so just get into a nose nose in inverted and start getting to where you're moving around a little bit. Then I'm just going to fly in a circle and see how the sticks are tracking. You can see going in that direction, flying around. A lot more on the left stick in the way of uh, rudder input than actual aileron input on the right stick. You want to get to where you can fly around like that. And then once you can do that, try to get to where you can go the other way. And see how the sticks are tracking this way. Down and to the left on the left stick and up and to the right on the right stick. But they're basically they're going opposite directions. I got showing you a little bit of emphasis on the sticks for that right now. see how the sticks are tracking in this direction. And then get to where you can maybe transition to a figure eight with it. And to where you're comfortable doing that and transitioning and flying around really smooth with that inverted forward flight. Again, like always, first couple times you're going to crash a lot. Pay attention to how the sticks are tracking and then just keep doing it until you get to a point where you don't even have to think about how you're tracking the sticks. See how, just like inverted, or reverse upright, we've got the sticks tracking away from each other. Same thing when we're inverted. Sticks are going to be tracking away from each other. So practice that, get to where you can fly around nice and comfortably in, uh, in that forward orientation inverted, and then you're probably ready to start moving on to some tail end inverted.